is Nottingham real? When you Google Nottingham, this is the first question that comes up, which amazed me. So yes, it is real, I'm here, and there are lots of great things to do in town. This is what I'll show you in this video. Good morning from Nottingham, England. a lot of people question if Nottingham is real is because the city is linked with Robin Hood, famous outlaw who used to steal from the rich to give to the poor. There's even a statue here. And then comes the next question. Was Robin Hood even real? Let's go up there. It is believed so, but there are lots of versions. You know, the most acceptable is that he lived here in the 12th century. He was imprisoned in this castle here. And when he was free, he used to hide in a forest, Sherwood Forest, which is about an hour north of the city when you drive there. This castle, by the way, is very important in the history of Nottingham. Works here began in the year 1067, and it has been destroyed and rebuilt over the centuries. It's called the Nottingham Castle, but after it was rebuilt, it looks more like a mansion. <laughs> She's still be beautiful. I just wish I could see it. Now the castle is closed, closed for refurbishment until 2020. But this area here is still very nice, a nice place to hang out, and it's right in the city center. Oh, yeah. Charming this street here. It's right in front of the castle. Look at these old, old doors here at the castle. It's like directly from a horror movie. If you continue walking down the street of the castle, ta da! The oldest inn in England from 1189. Actually, this is one of those that claim to be the oldest. <laughs> this is Yeo trip to Jerusalem. It was carved out of the rock underneath the castle and it has its name for a reason. It used to serve the crusaders on their way to Jerusalem. During summer, it's recommended to book a table as it gets really busy. Now during fall, it's fine. Although you see tourists coming here all the time, everybody comes here and takes pictures. <laughs> Let's go for a drink. What do you prefer, inside or outside? Oh, you don't want to talk, huh? <laughs> You're such a kid. <laughs> this is so cool because the bar is inside a cage. We are inside a cage here. <laughs> Here they also offer a tour to the cellar. You have to book it in advance. We did, so we're excited to go see what's there. The pub here is actually older than the inn. There are two chambers down here. They are from the year 1070. This is one of them. And they still use them for storage. The ones that you can see that have been tapped, those will be ready to go. Um, this one, for instance, hasn't been tapped yet, so that will be tapped by myself tonight. This was a prison at the time. It used to belong to the castle. Prisoners would be here, and this one, the next door, this was for the worst criminals. They'd most likely die here. Thank you. Oh, look at the ceiling. What is that? One half? <laughs> what is the other half? Oh, it's just one half. It's like 50 cents. <laughs> okay, one half. Look at a 50,000 bill here. There's a hole up there and they use it to bring the beer barrels directly from the bar to the castle instead of rolling the barrels uphill. This was a faster way. <laughs> 
staff was so friendly here. They gave us a whole detailed tour for free, answering questions and sharing information that you can't find online. For example, how the bar was born. The Crusades are going on, right? And I didn't really explain the Crusades before, so just to make it clear. There were religious and military expeditions organized by Europeans, Christians, between the 11th and 13th centuries, and the purpose was to take control over the Holy Land. So there were religious wars between Christians and Muslims. People would come from the north and central parts of England and meet right here in Nottingham before going to London. Royalty and the most important men would go up to the castle and the soldiers would stay down here. This is where they'd get served. Here around the castle and the bar, you can see caves also built in the stones. This is some serious exercise. <laughs> From the bar, we walked like 10 minutes uphill to see a beautiful and historical neighborhood. This is Park Estate, famous for the Victorian architecture. But what is really charming here is that they use gas street lights. You know those, still like in the old days. This is believed to be one of the largest networks in Europe. I believe the canal is right here. Just like what we saw in Manchester and Birmingham here in England, the canals were also very important historically in Nottingham. And now, look at this, the area is so full of bars, the place to come, but I guess we chose the windiest day of the year to come here. There's no one around and it's not even cold. today's video I wanted to introduce you to another iconic place here in Nottingham, Old Market Square. This is centrally located in town but despite the name there's no market here. However, there's a high-end mall inside that building. That's the city council and on the ground floor you find the most exclusive stores in Nottingham. this day here in Nottingham. In the next vlog I'm going to show more about the caves here. There's actually an underground network of caves that you can visit. It's so fun! I'm so excited! So if you like this video let me know and if you want more activate the notifications so that you can know when the next one is up. England is hosting the Cricket World Cup and actually I just found someone who plays cricket here. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's from yeah. the Maasai tribe in yeah. Kenya. Yeah, Welcome. my name is uh, Sonyanga Olengais, uh -huh. uh, the captain of the Maasai Cricket Warriors. We were actually here playing cricket. It's nice really to meet you guys that you are actually doing stories uh -huh. and mo uh, traveling. Yes. It's really nice and uh, people should go check about the Maasai Cricket Warriors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, there's a lot of story out there. So you will see the Maasai dress in the uh, traditional clothes, playing wow. cricket, real cricket, you know? Really? Yeah. You probably know the city more than I do. Yeah, a little bit. I won't <laughs> say I know that much, but just a little bit. What would you recommend people to do when they come here? Uh, you should visit like the historic places like the South Minister, like the Viva Castle. You need to go down to the, you know, a lot of caves here in, in Nottingham. So you guys should go down to caves. And, and I would recommend one guy called Robin Hood is called Ezekiel Bond. He is the real guy who can take you around and yes, he understands the history about Nottingham and what has been the history. Awesome, that's awesome. All the best. Bye. He saw me with a camera and thought, hmm, she might be on YouTube. Love this YouTuber, all that connects people like this. Mm -hmm.